Hello and welcome back to the Football Manager Stable of Harv. I know again it's been three weeks. I'm truly useless. There is no excuse for any of this. See, I've got the uh, blacked out England shirt on. It is the day of England Scotland, so yeah, hopefully that goes well. Just any kind of win will be enough, obviously, for us and to not only put us through, but send Scotland home, which obviously a lot of England fans would be a fan of doing. So yeah, we're back here in the um, third season, I think it is now. With La Havre, yes, it would be. Um, we did obviously manage to nick that last European spot. What it did get us was a qualifying spot to try and get in the Euro Cup tour, as I think it's going to be called in real life, the UEFA Conference League. And on our schedule, you can see we have got Young Boys or Dynamo, lovely voice, but Young Boys or Dynamo Brest in the um, Euro Cup two league. Well, I'm not going to read that whole thing out, but yeah, if you follow. How many qualifying rounds are after that? I think this is the last one. At least I'm hoping so. If it isn't, then there's quite a lot of good teams in here, so it would be quite hard to avoid missing out. I mean, even young boys themselves, Dynamo Brest, do play in Belarus. If we got them, hopefully we'll be all right. But young boys don't have a bad team. They've actually got some interesting players. They've signed up. People like Ashley Westwood and Johan Bash. They've now got the book a hold of is a queerdo. Marvin hits there, so yeah, not a bad little team. So if we have to end up playing them, it could be interesting. But again, hopefully it goes well. We do kick our Liga campaign off against Nice. You'll also see PSG, so it's a way to get two big games in there. Well, I say there's nothing big about Nice, just about it's the first game of the season, but obviously PSG huge. Um, I will then probably straight away afterwards. Probably not in this one. Although maybe I could, although there's two games, so I'm probably just going to have to make a next episode with those two games. Um, and then maybe give a bigger gap. Maybe don't see you until October or something like that. Or if there's more qualifying paths, we'll see whether we obviously succeed or fail with that. Um, but yeah, we've seen Nice and PSG today. Um, as for transfers, I can't really, it's been that long. I'm saying so much, I've been slacking. I can't actually remember what I've done for this season. Um, I think I mentioned before about Ben Brereton, and we also got this left back, mostly as backup, Pietro Barato from Vincenza, um, was previously of Juve's under 23s, he'll be good backup. But the Saga on a free as well, he's just young, and I believe you can see on the scout report, very talented, so won't feature us this year at all. Um, nevertheless, we got him. Burnaby here from Man City, well, so I'm going to say maybe it's Burnaby. Um, just yeah, a very good centre mid, really. That's the only two and a half star, but there's a lot of good stats in there, especially with stamina and determination. Um, but it's more, again, for the potential and for 500k, can't really complain. And Matias Fernandez from Barca for 1.9 mil. He said it's a good deal on general boys' value. It is still, again, only a three star player, but a bit of potential there. So we haven't really made too many crazy moves. We've got a little bit of money left to be able to work something. So if a certain player pops up, then. Um, we'll obviously do their best or our best to get them I was thinking about striker because yeah, we are still rocking with Jamal Tiaro he's obviously been brilliant for us but as I said his scoring calmed down a bit obviously from the amazing lead the campaign it was always going to calm down coming into the top league obviously but yeah we might need to think about getting a better striker you've got Meras here I think previously at times he's been like four and a half star when on form He's now just a casual three-star centre-back. A lot of players have got a bit more average, so we'll have to work our way around that. Gerriton, I believe, has been playing right attacking mid just because of Ponzac's quality. We don't really want to leave him out. Um, but he's obviously somebody who can play either wing or up front, so he'll be very useful. And we are going to be using Suleiman Isaac Toro for this season. Again, giant, over two metres tall, great jump in reach. With great physicals and a load of potential in him as well. Yeah, first game here with Nice. I'm going to go with that exact team. I think they want me to make crazy changes. I won't be doing that. I'll be going with what I want to. I don't really know their reasoning behind why they want to do that, really. But being familiar with... Yeah, no, I'm alright, thanks. And then we're going with this. Then by the PSG game, we've up next. We probably do need to win this one. Pretty much for our own sakes. Otherwise, we could be looking at a win this episode here as a return after, again, three weeks of me slacking. But, yeah, 
hopefully this one goes well. Finally, a highlight. I thought we were going to have a highlight this half. No better way to, than to return with a snooze fest. We'll see whose way this highlight goes. Currently, they've only had one shot, which was off target. So defensively, we've started very well. But obviously, I want to be a bit more creative ourselves, as that's the reason I've left Honzak on the pitch. He's back, by have said, as we've carried on to this season. I mean, if we looked in his stats, he, he is tall and he does have that about him. But yeah, I just never saw it coming and it's still happening. There's our new signing, Fernandez, chucks that right to Moreira. Just a great cross on the edge of six yard box and we thought Honzak's like he's not going to miss from there. So it was looking to be a very boring first half. It's not been very entertaining with obviously that probably looking like it's going to be the only highlight. A lot of probably's I said there. Um, but to be one up cannot be complained about and no real need to change anything about the team for the second half. And then so we're going straight into a highlight. So we'll see what happens here as they go back to their defenders. Back into Cyprian. Plus one through the Dolberg. I was going to mention how much of a threat he is. Fana does stay behind the strikes. Thank God for that. But an embarrassing way to start the second half. But yeah, Dolberg is a big threat, especially on this game. So we've cleared the corner. It looks like the highlight wants to continue. Sorry, heads down the left now. Looking like we could get something from this. If he can find a pass, he's not going to be able to do it on his own from there. But he's considering trying to get the ball across to Honzak. Cannot keep a shot down. Would have been a brace for him, but yeah, not to be. A very late highlight here from throughout away here. It'd be very disappointing, obviously. Sorry, wins the header. So he's probably going to be winning a lot of those for us this season. Benito have subbed on, heads down the right wing, gets it into Fernandez. Can it be a debut goal? Shaves the bar. He is probably not going to feature too heavily for us at CDM, but he is for this game as um Lacau was suspended. But um it will be the full time whistle. We get away with a calm one they win. Again, nothing too exciting, but a great result nonetheless. You can see most of our good performances coming from players at the back end of the pitch, only kept them to four shots and so on target, minimal XG. So they've done a great job as it shows in the rain. It yeah, was still not looking to be that entertaining of a side, which I apologise about for this season. But again, it looks like it's a successful way of playing. So great start, really. Now, now heading into the second game here. Obviously, PSG, a big one. We are away from home. It is suggesting defensive. I might have to go with that. I might just lean cautious to begin with and see how that goes. Something we did find out in the meantime, um, as probably expected. Young boys absolutely battered Dynamo Brest, so we will be playing them in the very recent recent future, is that you say? But basically it's coming up very soon. So as long as I don't take three weeks after this episode to um bother to play that game, you will be seeing it basically yeah, very soon. So well, I'm just making changes there without saying anything. And yeah, the cow is back, so we'll try and slide him in. Is there anything else? I'd like you on the bench. I'm saying you again. Why well, I'm concealing information from you, I don't know. Um, obviously, PSG, a big game, but obviously a game we are shorthanded in compared to them. So, I'm going to go with basically the same team. I think it's the same start 11 other than that. Lecal change I just made there. To move Mateus Fernandez up to centre mid. Um, We'll go with this squad and hopefully we can get anything from this game. The only highlight could be a good or bad thing. Also, we're going to go one or down to PSG in a minute. That won't... Just, yeah, we'll be toast after that. So, to get in already here, Morata, okay, good save for Bafana. Would not have been an ideal way to start the game. We can survive the corner here as well. That's why I had to clear, as I said, we've been a lot of heading over the course of the season. So I have an early spell of pressure. They get another one in to wait for his again. So it doesn't seem to end, and it does the case. So. That's say we've survived that, but they come in with another cross, and that shaves the bar. Really early spells of pressure. And hope, every time I want to say, hopefully we've survived it now. It slides into another highlight as um, they come forward again. What I can do about it, I don't know. They just seem to be completely on top of us. They're more defensive. I don't think that's going to do anything for us. The final swing to another save. Probably the second or third, well, definitely second, but possibly third corner for BSG already. It looks like we're breaking here, but I imagine the highlight will end 
with nothing. Yeah, really just trying to survive early pressure from PSG here. It's not something we can afford to do for 90 minutes. We need to get some of the ball ourselves just to calm it all down. But I thought the highlight would just end, but we are still breaking here as Marrero gets it down the right. It's towards the ball and crosses in the box to straighten the keeper's hands, and that will probably be that. This is all set pieces for PSG as they go short this time to Verratti. That's Ronnie Lopez got a bit too much room there. He gets the ball across Marquinhos. I think that's blocked. He may have a chance to break here with Ben Bereson. He has recently changed allegiance to Chile. How that came about, I don't know. And he has school for us, so probably still English on this game. But <laughs> the newly chosen Chilean does put us one nil up again. We've been completely under the cost. I should probably sound happier than I do, but I think I know what's coming, and it's probably more of what we've had in this first half hour, and it's a lot of. PSG possession and chances, so it's great to go one nil up, and it gives us a bit of something to lean on. But yeah, it continues how it's started. We're in for a long game here. Yeah. So we have still survived at least a half time, but we haven't just yet. Marquinhos must be playing at the base of midfield with how high he seems to be playing. Burnett, Burnett. Bernat now down the left, looking to get a ball across. Short one into Paredes, back post Kulazewski. And threatening with headers and corners a lot already. And they get the goal. They've looked like scoring pretty much since the um, whistle to start the game went. Um, upsetting not to survive to half time, but again, you yeah, can't say I'm surprised. They've been all over us. So what I can do about it for the second half, I don't know. Really trying to survive here. That will be half time. Hopefully, we can have a better second half. There's a couple of players not performing out there, so we may change them pretty soon. Yeah, just doing our best to not get battered out here, really. It's a plan for us now as Meris tries to launch it, and we do get it in there. Hit the post. I thought rebound might have gone to us. It doesn't quite. The great chance there to retake the lead. Completely by surprise as well. Keep the team around a little bit. There will be subs coming on. You can see Benito will be coming on the right. And then Bereton goes over to the left. And that's probably a penalty. Yeah. I was hoping this was just a normal highlight after a sub where it's just they make you watch it until the ball goes off the pitch. But this isn't looking like one. This is probably definitely going to be a penalty. And it is. So unless we'll find a step up again for us here. We'll be heading 2-1 down. Right, he steps up and scores. So, yeah, I'm not really surprised. Again, yeah, we've been battered the whole game. I might even step up to balance now, see if that could help. Certainly got to hinder us at this point because cautious isn't working. So, let's try and press forward to maybe get an equaliser, but I don't really see it happening here. So, I think that will be full time, but there's time for one more. A lot here, probably going to be theirs. But if in any way it's ours, then... Brilliant as they chuck one behind for Kutaku. Oh, I didn't know who he was as he rounds our keeper and scores. But if I click on him here, you'll see his stats. Oh, I can't click on him there. Basically, I'll show you at the end of the game. His stats are incredible. Who he is and where he's come from, I don't know. But incredibly dangerous player. See, what's going on with this man? And he clearly exists because he's got a face. belongs to Schalke. And come from their youth academy, it seems. Yeah, the stats on this man, you see he's scored 11 goals and 4 assists in um, qualifying for the World Cup. 5-star player. 16 finishing, a lot of like 14s and above. Yeah, where he's come from all of a sudden, I don't know, but looks to be an incredible player and puts a kind of dagger in us. It would be, I was going to say balance worked a bit better. They did restrict him to a lot less chances. That could be one you saw then was literally the only chance they had since switching a balance, but... We obviously didn't have any highlights ourselves, so I can't really say it worked either. But, um, yeah, didn't get the same result we got last time. We somehow managed to edge a win against them, but I can't really say I'm surprised. They are the best team in the league and probably got an easily win the title again. Um, yeah, not an awful start. Again, a comfortable one. They won in the first game, not too busy. And, yeah, fell rather short to a very... <laughs> Powerful PSG side, so usually I'll be like, oh, this is where we come back. It'll obviously be the next game against young boys, but I won't just try and fit it into this one. 
yeah, you'll see the two young boys games after this. I'll probably skip the Nims one in between. Um, and depending on how that goes, we'll judge what to do from there. But again, yeah, sorry that I disappeared for ages. Um, it's just apparently what I do and I wish it wasn't, but here we are. Yeah, if you have returned again, big thank you. <laughs> like I've said this every time. I don't deserve really, if any of you have been watching every time for you to do so with how kind of long between episodes I make it. But if you ask me here, it's a big thanks. And yeah, as I say, thank you. I'll see you now this ends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.